Hello guys, welcome back on my YouTube channel. My name again is Ping Ping and I make videos for Philippine latest travel protocols and US visa related information. For today's video, I will discuss to you the latest protocols for Philippine travelers. All right, so let's go. So we will see if there's still a green list, yellow list, or red list countries. And who are the people that can enter to the Philippines and from what countries? And what are the requirements and possible uh, restrictions or quarantine protocols that you need to follow in order for you to enter to the to Philippines? Okay, so stick around. All right, guys, so we will discuss who are the people that can enter through the Philippines as of December 5 until December 15? Is there still green list countries, yellow list countries, or red list countries? So for now, guys, as of December 5, the green list countries are suspended and we only follow yellow list countries and red list countries. So for the information of everybody, these are the red list countries. South Africa, Botswana, Namibia, Zimbabwe, Lesotho, Eswatini, Mozambique, Austria, Czech Republic, Hungary, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Belgium, Italy. So guys, if you are from these countries, they are under the red list countries. You cannot enter the Philippines, whether by if you have valid visa or anything. And if you real, if you are a Filipino citizen, you can only enter uh, the Philippines from these red list countries under the repartition of the government and non-government agencies. So if you really want to come home because there's emergency or anything, please um, ask help from the Bureau of Immigration and contact the nearest Philippine embassy in your country if you really want to, to go home to the Philippines from the red list countries. All right. So all countries not mentioned in the red list country are considered yellow list country. So again, guys, green list countries are suspended. So there's no green list right now. We only have red and yellow list country. So countries that was not mentioned under the red list countries are considered yellow list countries. By the way, guys, let me emphasize this to you that as of, as of now, Philippines do not accept travelers or tourists from other countries, especially if, if you want to um, avail the 30 days visa upon arrival, it was suspended, guys. So, for example, if you are an American citizen and you want to visit your fiancé here in the Philippines, for now, you are not allowed to enter the Philippines, all right? So, that's it. We only have red and yellow list countries. Okay, for the red list countries, the advisory that you cannot enter the country from uh, coming from the red list countries was November 28 until December 15, all Filipinos or um, tourists coming from red list countries cannot enter the Philippines until December 15. Or you visited the red list countries 14 days before your travel to the Philippines, you cannot enter the Philippines starting November 28 until December 15. Guys, if you have a layover to the red list countries, you don't need to worry. You will be accepted in the Philippines and you will be treated that you came from a yellow list country. So if you came from yellow list countries, your country of origin is a yellow list countries, then you have layover in the red list countries. Don't worry, again, you can enter the Philippines and you will be treated as um, coming from yellow list countries. Okay, layover is not uh, included. That's it. All right, guys, who can enter the Philippines as of December 5? So as of now, we have only three criteria in order for you to enter the Philippines. Number one, you must be a Filipino citizen coming from yellow list countries. If you are a Filipino citizen coming from a red list countries, you can enter the Philippines, but it must be under the government or non-government repatriation program. Number two, we have the Balikbayan program. So what is a Balikbayan program? If you are a dual Philippi a dual citizen, citizen or you're a foreign national with a husband 
or a wife, spouse who is a foreign, who is a Filipino citizen. Then you can avail the Balikbayan program. And number three, foreign nationals with existing visas or valid visas. So three only. But if you are a foreign nationals with existing visas, but you came from a red list countries, you cannot enter the Philippines as of now. Okay, so that's it. That's the three criteria in order for you to enter the Philippines. Tourists again are not allowed to enter the Philippines. If you came, if you are from mm, red list or yellow list countries, tourists is not allowed as of now, as of December five until I think until this a uh, further notice. Okay. Now, guys, so we already discussed uh, what are the qualifications and who are only allowed to enter the Philippines. Now, we are going to discuss what are the quarantine protocols that you need to follow once you are here in the Philippines. Okay, so we only have like yellow list and red list countries. Now, let's discuss if you are coming from a yellow list countries, what do you need to show, right? So, for vaccinated individuals, you need to show your RT-PCR test result 72 hours before your departure coming from your country of origin. So 72 hours before your departure, you need to show negative RT-PCR test result. And then once you are here in the Philippines, you will be, you will be um, assigned to your um, designated facility quarantine. Yes, guys, you will be quarantined. And then on the fifth day, you will undergo another RT-PCR test. Once your RT-PCR test is negative, you will continue your 14-day quarantine at home. So that's it for fully vaccinated individual. You will show your negative RT-PCR test result 72 hours before departure and on the fifth they here in the Philippines, upon arrival, you will have another RT-PCR test result. Once it, negative, once it is negative, you will continue your 14-day home quarantine at home. That's for fully vaccinated. Now let's discuss for fully for not fully vaccinated or unvaccinated travelers of going here in the Philippines. For full unvaccinated or not vaccinated travelers, you need to show again a negative RT-PCR test result 72 hours before your departure. And then once you are here in the Philippines, you will be um, assigned to your facility-based quarantine. At the seventh day upon arrival, you will have again another RT-PCR test result. Once it's negative, you will continue home quarantine for 14 days um, starting from your arrival. So that's you count 14 days home quarantine from the day you arrive, right? So that's a difference. The difference is for fully vaccinated, you will have your second RT-PCR test result on the fifth day upon arrival here in the Philippines. For unvaccinated or not vaccinated travelers or individuals, you will have your second RT-PCR test result on the seventh day. And you guys will continue your home quarantine for 14 days upon arrival okay that's it so all right you cannot board the plane once you don't have a negative rt-pcr test result minors traveling must also follow the quarantine and testing protocols set by the philippine by the philippines together with their guardian or parents regardless of their vaccination status and country of origin so same for minors all right, guys, so that's the latest um, update for Philippine travel restriction as of now, and it will continue until further notice. So I hope, guys, you learned something in this video, and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to get notified of my new videos. Please subscribe. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, so please stay safe. Thank you so much. Bye. See you on my next video.